Hello and welcome back to the Little Craft House channel. Today I wanted to show you a new product that I am super excited about. Water slide transfers for polymer clay. This assortment here have come from Coral Cockatoo and they are now going to be stocked in our store. So we're going to get straight into things here by conditioning up some white polymer clay. The brand that I'm using today is Primo. Now I'm conditioning by rolling by hand and using my acrylic roller. My clay machine currently needs a bit of a clean and it's leaving big dirty marks on my white clay. So I just prefer to do it by hand, which helps to keep the clay clean. As you can see, I have popped this into um, times three speed just to speed it up a little bit so that you're not watching me do it all slowly. Now I've just used my slab square, which is going to keep an even thickness on my clay uh, because we want our pieces to be nice and flat and not um, bumpy or wavy in the middle. And so I found with these transfers that you get your best results if you work with lighter coloured polymer clay. So I'm going to cut out a bunch of blanks now from this white clay. Um, and I find that simple shapes do work best. The rainbow here did prove slightly trickier to use uh, just because of that internal arch. I'm just going to carefully remove them from my tile um, using my blade here and what I like to do is just run my finger around the edge of the shapes which is just going to smooth them off and mean less sanding to do later. And we're going to need to bake up these pieces so I'm going to pop them into the oven for about an hour or so just until they're fully cured. And just like that with the magic of editing, they're now baked up and ready for us to use. Now, unfortunately, because of the time of day that I'm filming this, I have a bit of an annoying sunbeam coming through my window here, um, but we are going to use this to our advantage in just a minute. Firstly, though, I do have to choose which design I'm going to use, and this can be one of the hardest decisions of my day picking which ones I like best because um, I actually like them all so yeah I think I'm going to go with the Monstera and this really cool little tiger print so our next step is to trace the shape that we're going to be using um, of the polymer clay blank onto the transfer sheet now I probably made this look super, super awkward, but I'm just wanting to make sure that I get the good bit of the image, the bit with the tiger on. So I'm just kind of positioning it on the front and then lining it up on the back. Probably super awkward, as I say, probably an easier way to do it, but I just want to make sure that I get a good bit. And so I'm just going to use a normal lead pencil to trace around the shape. Uh, the line will be left on the discarded bit of paper, so you could possibly use a pen if you prefer, just as long as the ink doesn't bleed through the paper. And this is where I'm going to use that sunbeam to my advantage, and I'm just going to check to make sure that the part of the image I want is within that bit that I've traced. So obviously if you don't have a sunbeam coming through your window, you could just hold it up to the light just to make sure. If it's a symmetrical pattern, it doesn't matter so much, but because this has the actual image on it, I want to make sure that I've got full tiger bodies and not chopping off heads or tails or something like that. And so just cutting out now using a pair of nice and sharp scissors. Sharp scissors will give you a nice clean cut, which is what you want. And now will come the fun bit. So we need to place our transfers into a bowl of water, um, ensuring that it is fully submerged. 
So sometimes it flips up a little bit, uh, curls up a little bit like what just happened. Um, sometimes they even make a cute little squeaking sound. Um, you just need to make sure that they're flattened out and that the whole thing is underwater. So I just go back occasionally and just make sure that it is nice and flat and just leave it in there for a few moments. It usually takes about two to three minutes for it to be ready and you'll know that it's ready because you'll see the side of the image will start to separate from the backing paper. In the meantime, I'm just going to start prepping my next pieces um, so that they are going to be ready to go. And again, I'm just going to do this in sped up time so it's not so boring for you to watch. Now, I do hate to see waste when it comes to these sorts of images. So I'm making myself a little pile of all those little bits from around the edge of the circle, uh, bits that are going to be too small to be useful. I'm going to pop them to the side and I've got a few ideas of things I'm going to use them for. But um, yeah, I need to save up some pieces first. So if you do follow me over on Instagram, when I've got enough pieces, I'm going to do some things over there with them. So keep an eye over on Instagram for that. Okay, so the transfer's looking ready. Just that little bit of pressure there just moved it, which showed that it was releasing from the paper. I'm going to pop it on top of my blank here and very gently just remove the paper from underneath. Now this can get a little bit slippery and fiddly, so just be really careful when moving the transfer so that it doesn't move out of position. I'm just going to smooth it off a little bit as well, just making sure that there is no trapped air or trapped water um, between the image and the uh, polymer clay blank. And so once I've prepared all my pieces, so I've transferred all the images over onto my polymer clay blanks, I'm just going to set them to the side for probably 15 or so minutes just to try and allow the water to absorb, just to um, disappear. Uh, and then we need to pop them back in the oven for about another 15 minutes. When we do that, that is going to... I suppose kind of melts the transfer onto the polymer clay and that will mean that it will stay on properly, um, it adheres to it and yeah, can't be easily removed then. And here they are back out of the oven. Um, so at this point is where I realized that I'd made a bit of a mistake. And in between the process of tracing my shapes onto the transfer paper and then putting the transfers onto the polymer clay, I should have sanded and cleaned up my polymer clay blanks. So I should have done it after tracing because then any transfer of the pencil onto the blank would have been um, then removed but I forgot to do that I was just trying to get it done before the sun went down too much and it got too dark in my workroom to show you so anyway we can still work with this this is fine so now they've adhered to the polymer clay I am going to have to give them a little bit of a clean up but while giving it a sand I just need to make sure that I don't disturb the sides of the image too much that it's not going to lift back up but I'm just going to be gentle so it should be fine okay so the final stage of our water slide transfers is to seal them so I'm just going to use a Sculpey gloss glaze here um, you can of course use resin if you use resin or you may choose not to seal them at all Personally, I would recommend sealing them just because it gives it a little bit extra protection um, and it's going to withstand wear and tear a little bit better. Um, however, if you're just going to have light usage and it's just for personal use, then um, it, that's personal preference if you didn't want to. One thing I do like to do when sealing though is just to make sure that I'm sealing between the join of the transfer and the polymer clay. That's just going to help prevent any lifting from happening
and there we go these are my finished components so i haven't made them into earrings yet but i just thought i would show you them at this stage um, the gloss has now dried on them they are ready to be drilled and yeah made into some earrings so I'd like to thank you for joining me today in learning how to use the water slide transfers. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So thanks again for joining me and I'll hope to catch you next time with more polymer clay tutorials. Bye for now.